can you think of any reason why someone would want to hurt you? We are talking about the thriller horror Blindsided, which is also known as Darker Than Night, its original release title. This one is directed by Johnny Miller, and who also co-wrote this, and is being released in 2019 by Uncorked Entertainment. Now, this one stars Bia Santos, who I think is probably most well known for True Detective. Um, Eric Cumberson was in; it's been in a couple of kind of TV shows as well. Uh, so, some, you know, mainly kind of TV actors here. So. The story reminds me a little bit of the kind of the fairly recent horror movie called Hush, where we had a, you know, a, a, a woman who was trapped in a kind of house of that in a home invasion scenario. In that movie, she kind of was uh, was deaf and mute, I think. Uh, but here we have a similar, in a way, story. We have this young woman who has been recently blinded, so she's not been blinded from birth. She has been relatively kind of recently blinded, and therefore not quite accustomed to it. And uh, she is staying in a kind of like a holiday home when her father is going away for a kind of a business trip. Uh, and it's her first time kind of living outside of her kind of like her, her father. And she's got these two friends sort of staying with her to kind of try and sort of keep her company and see if she needs any help. And uh, they, the, the father has also arranged for this, this guy to also stay in this house, uh, like someone who used to sort of study under him. And uh, this kind of group of people are then seemingly attacked by unknown person or persons from the outside wanting to cause them harm and obviously as the numbers numbers whittle down obviously we are left with can this kind of blind girl kind of defend herself from you know unknown assailants you have to watch them even to find out so let's talk blindsided so what works first of all for me here um i've got to say i thought this movie is pretty well shot it looks like it's got you know fairly kind of slick production values here obviously a lower budget movie but nonetheless I think the camera work is all good um, the lighting on the technical side everything works pretty well here uh, there's no kind of like outstanding kind of directorial flourishes necessarily but it's all very kind of you know, solid work yeah, solid camera placement that stuff like that I actually thought the um, the acting was all pretty good from the whole cast here. I think everyone did a pretty good job. Uh, I quite like the kind of the banter between our kind of our three initial friends. That was quite good. And uh, there's kind of um, you know a lot of stuff which is is kind of hinted at but not said. Like the reasons, for example, that the, the you know the Sloan, our main character, is blinded. For example, uh, it's something that's teased uh, to, through characters for the particular movie. Uh, and there's kind of hints at kind of what's happened previously in these kind of guys uh, past and stuff like that. But they do they do seem genuinely friends. They're interplay and stuff like that. They do seem like they would be kind of genuine kind of people, all who, whom are, are on the kind of the same kind of social standards. If you see, if you see what I mean. So I quite enjoyed that sort of characterization. There are a few um, pretty gory moments here. Some uh, some good use of uh, um, you know. Uh, knives being inserted into various body parts and things like that i thought that was the, the goal here was pretty effective and i've got to say it's a fairly kind of well paced and kind of ent entertaining movie what doesn't work for me uh, this movie is main problem for me is it's blindingly obvious if you excuse the pun so the the, the very first scene is kind of a, like an epilogue and we see kind of getting someone hunted down in in, in the woods the fact that they deliberately make it obvious not to show the killer's face clearly means that we're gonna, you know, it's gonna the killer is gonna be a character in the movie. It's such a kind of obvious um, thing that happens is that you're just expecting obviously this to happen. And sure enough, uh, obviously I'm not gonna say who, but there is a um, a killer that we are introduced to. And uh, yeah, it's it's the the, the so-called twist is is really really obvious. But this movie also has some really quite fatal flaws in kind of logic. Um, there's the attempt to call the police, for example. Um, I, mean, I don't know too much of the spoilers, but this, this, th there should have been more attempts to call the police. Uh, certainly when certain things are revealed. Um, 
yeah, just kind of like, uh, without giving away any, again, any, any, any kind of spoilers here, there's just a, a, a lot of kind of obvious things that, that happen, and things that just don't make logical sense in, in, if you were thinking, hang on, that doesn't kind of really make sense if you think about it too much. Uh, I mean, this, this movie is still entertaining, um, it, the, the plot is, is kind of workmanlike, and I don't think it, it really does try to do anything too kind of surprising. Um, I think the kind of the, the blind conceit is not really necessary, because it doesn't, it doesn't really come into, um, into play, really, as a kind of a, a story element. In an actual fact, I, I would argue that it, it makes the movie less logical um, because our our home invaders don't necessarily know that Sloane, the character, is blind. Uh, I mean, she's just go, she's walking around wearing sunglasses, but you know they go to a party in the in the in the evening where people are doing that, and yet they're kind of standing out in the open and just kind of standing still and being being quiet while she's kind of looking around in the kind of the earlier portion of the film. They don't actually know that she's blind, so it's just kind of like they they make that assumption, I think, or the writers know, so they don't kind of think about it in in, in a kind of logical terms. But the the fact that she's blind um, doesn't really play a big part in the movie. She could not be blind, and it wouldn't really make a lot of difference in regards to the plot. To be to be quite honest, it it just puts her at, obviously at disadvantage. Um, but it doesn't really kind of have factor into the actual plot necessarily and I, I didn't feel not in any meaningful way um, outside of the kind of the, the evidence where I just told you and it actually makes it more silly overall I think this is a taut and well-paced exciting thriller but it's just fraught with kind of obvious story beats and logic issues for me it's well acted um, likeable kind of characters and uh, you know there's some 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 kind of like Good levels of violence, obviously it's a relatively small body count, but they're done to a good standard. So overall it's, you know, it's worth a watch, but just not particularly kind of groundbreaking in any, any respect. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.